I didn't even know what a cut crease was. Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. I, the other day I went out to a friend's birthday party and I decided to do my makeup and I wound up doing this really awesome look that I loved and literally is going to be my look of the summer because it is so cute and so summer vibey so yeah i decided i would make a video out of it and show you guys this look now here's just a disclaimer i am absolutely no beauty guru whatsoever and i kind of suck at makeup so if you're here for some real makeup advice or makeup tips you're not really gonna get any um i'll try my best to show you guys and explain to you guys what i'm doing um however again i'm no beauty guru so don't expect this to be like a James Charles or like Tati level video. Um, yeah. So let's just get into the video. This is gonna be my summer makeup and hair. Okay, so first, with every time I do my makeup, I just put this Vera Bradley headband on. Um, so that way my hair cannot get into my foundation. And I put my hair up. My hair is already up back here. We have it in a messy bun because, you know, style of the summer. No, I just have it in a messy bun because why not? But I just put up the front so, like, my foundation won't get into it. So, yeah. So, yes. Okay. Where's my mirror? So, I will, as I go, I will um, show you all the products that I'm using and tell you what I'm using to do this makeup look. Let's get into it. Okay. So, first off... I always start with my um, Laura Cellar New York Spackle Treatment Even Tone Makeup Primer. Um, this is what it looks like in case you want to buy it. Um, I'm almost out. I got this as like a free gift or whatever, but I really love it, so I'm going to get some more. Um, I'm almost out of it, so I really need to get on that. I use this whenever I do full face of makeup. Um, I usually don't do full faces of makeup because my skin is pretty clear for the, for the most part. Um, and I do like my sun freckles, so I don't really, like, cover anything up. Um, however, just to make this look extra good, I'm going to do my full face. So I'm just putting a little bit of this on my beauty blender. And then dabbing it all over my face. And now, I'm just going to blend it. Okay, and now that that is done, I'm going to go in with my foundation. I just use this Lancome... Tiant Idol Ultra Wear. That is probably French, so I should probably know that, but I don't. Um, it's up to 24 hour color, transfer resistant, and wear comfort. I love that it's transfer res resistant. That's one of my favorite parts about it. And I don't know what shade this is, but I am really white, so it's probably a really light one. Um, yeah, so again, I just put some of this on my beauty blender. That's a lot. <laughs> and dab it on. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Yeah, we will look really good. Cover that one pimple that I have up. And now I am going to blend it. Okay, so now our foundation and primer is done. You can see my skin looks really clear. Um, even that one pimple that I have randomly, because I usually don't get pimples, you can't really tell it's there. So that's good. And now we are going to start doing our eyes. So the first thing I do to my eyes is I do eyeshadow primer. Um, by the way, I'll show you all, all the products I'm going to be using for my eyes. I'm going to be using my favorite mascara, Roller Lash Mascara. I'm going to be using um, this thingy eyelash curler. Couldn't think of the name. I'm going to be using a spoon, and you'll see why. I'm going to be using a thingy to put on my mascara. And the palette I'm going to be using for today is my favorite palette at the moment, this Maybelline New York Lemonade Craze. I absolutely love it. I'm going to be using the shades um, Main Squeeze as well as Strawberry Lemonade. This is one of my favorite palettes at the moment. I love it so, so much, as well as the Soda Pop Maybelline palette. Um, I actually got both of these for my birthday, and I really love them. I'm obsessed with them. Okay, so we're going to start with our eyeshadow primer. Let's do this. Alright, now that we got the primer on, I'm just going to show you the look. So, we're also going to be using this brush um, for my eyeshadow today as well. As well, we're going to be using these two brushes. And of course, this palette. So, we're going to open up our palette. And we're going to dip our bigger brush into the main squeeze color. And we're going to get it really covered. Yeah, okay. Now, here's what the spoon comes in handy for. A perfect cut crease um, for the longest time I didn't even know what a cut crease was I happened to be watching a snapchat story and I saw this life hack 
and um, I loved the way it looked when I tried it. So here we are. So you're just gonna put it at the top of your eyelid and with your bigger brush, you're gonna go around with the color main squeeze until there's enough and it leaves you with the perfect cut crease. Um, you can go up as high as you want or not high at all. It's totally up to you. And you can see, you can kind of tell that there is a perfect cut crease now, which I absolutely love. And we're gonna go ahead and do this with the other eye. Okay, hopefully, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but there are some pretty perfect cut creases there now. So, now we're done with the spoon and this brush. And now, we are going to go into our strawberry lemonade color, and we're going to go under the crease, under the cut crease. And yeah, so, going into our strawberry lemonade color on our um, lemonade crease palette. And we're just gonna put that under the cut crease. I also just really loved when the, I did this look for the first time. These two colors look really, really well together. So, and this color, this strawberry color, is a very nice light pink. Not really sure if you can even see it on camera. So I'm going to also go in with a little bit of this ice pop color just to make the strawberry lemonade a little bit darker pink. A little more summer vibes. So now I'm just mixing a little strawberry lemonade with the ice pop to give it a little bit of a darker shade to kind of give it a little more ombre, a little more summer vibe kind of. So we're gonna go ahead and do this on the other eye. All right, once my eyes look as identical as possible, um, which I think they do, not really sure how well you can see the look on camera, but I will probably insert a picture. So yeah, you can kind of tell it looks very like ombre-ish. Um, I don't know, it just gives me like total like summer vibes, like peachy and like bright and colorful. I love it, I absolutely love it. And now the last part of this look is we're gonna go in again with our main squeeze and we're gonna do it in the corners of our eye. Using a smaller brush for this would probably help. Where did I put my eye brushes? I'm gonna use this brush and we're gonna go in with our main squeeze and just do it in the corner of our eye, which is something that I used to never do. And then I learned about it from Queen himself, James Charles, and um, now I do it all the time because it actually looks really, really good. So here's the finished eye look without, well, here's the finished eyeshadow look. So yeah, it looks really good. It looks really summer vibey and I love it. So now we're done with our eyeshadow and we're going to do our eyelashes. So we're gonna need our eyelash curler and our roller lash mascara. So I curl my eyelashes, mascara, and then curl them again because my eyelashes do not really curl that well. Also guys, I have this electric curler, but I don't have batteries for it, and it's like, it uses heat. It works so well with my eyelashes, and I need to get batteries for it. Okay, that actually looks good. Sometimes they don't curl, and sometimes they do. So, now we're gonna put our roller lash mascara on. I absolutely love this mascara, it's my favorite. A tiny bit on the bottom of my lashes, tiny, tiny bit. All right, here we have it. Our finished eye summer makeup look. So yeah, I really love this look. Now we're going to finish off our lovely summer makeup look 
by um I don't do my eyebrows by the way but if you would do your eyebrows fill them in we're gonna finish this off by doing our highlighter and our lip gloss all right so we are done so I just used this um matte Revlon lip gloss that I love and this elf um shimmer um starlight glow highlight powder I love this looks really good as you can see it is super shiny super perfect and yeah um now we're gonna do my hair which is just brushing it and straightening it but um yeah let's go do my hair all right so we're gonna do my hair i'm gonna take it out of this disgusting messy bun that is so messy and we're gonna use this um flat iron perfector i can't do it with glasses on and we are going to straighten it see how it looks when we're done straightening it we're gonna use this let's do this My hair is absolutely disgusting. I also found this huge knot back here. Um, great. Um, I'm just gonna put my hair out today. <laughs> to say the least. I don't know what happened. Oh, I don't wanna wear a red scrunchie. It's the only scrunchie I have. Alright guys, that is all for the summer makeup look video. I really, really love my favorite part of the look, the eyeshadow look that I created. Um, yeah, so this is the summer look. Hair didn't come out the best because my hair is just annoying. But, um, hi pony. Actually, no, this is like a low pony. Low pony summer makeup look is complete. Um, we love this summer look. I think it's the perfect look for any day in the summer. It's simple, it's really quick to do, and it's fun. I love doing this look, and I would do it every day in the summer. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you go down below to subscribe and join the hashtag RoguesFam, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!